the legendary Angela Bassett is nominated for her role as Queen Ramonda, mourning her son in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And I warned you about taking my daughter on this mission, and you lost her. Back in 1985, she's a grieving daughter on Spencer for Hire. Blink and you'll miss her as a TV reporter in the thriller FX. She's singing in The Flash. And flying the skies as a flight attendant in Kindergarten Cop. Is your wife okay, sir? There he is. She gives up her son and boys in the hood. I can't teach him how to be a man. That's your job. Janie. And reclaims her daughter on 227. Janie, is that you? But our favorite finds were Angela's early appearances on daytime soaps, on Guiding Light. I think you need some counsel. Search for tomorrow. You're mad, right? Only dogs get mad. Oh. I'm Leonie Peach from the Human Services Department. And back in 1987, Peach. one of her very Likewise. first roles on the acclaimed I'm ABC daytime black. drama, Ryan's Hope. I'd be lucky to get her name, rank, and serial number if I'm not there. <laughs> Don't underestimate me. These archives are everything. Yeah, all day. We got them. Keep them coming for sure. Can't believe Angela Bassett. She spent so much time on soap operas before getting into film. Uh, but those roles clearly helped prepare her for this iconic career. And Lindsay, I know you had the chance to sit down with her recently. Yes, and you know, just as talented as she is, she is equally just as stunning. She's 64 years old. I mean, she is the original Benjamin Buttons, aging backwards at this point. But hard to believe that it's been nearly 30 years since she received her very first Oscar nomination. Talking, of course, about when she did Tina Turner in What's Love Got to Do With It. Tonight, she's nominated for playing another strong woman, Queen Ramonda from Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Congratulations on nomination number two. Thank you. Last time was 30 years ago for What's Love Got to Do With It. How is this time different? It seems a little bit more hectic, um, but um, I'm just trying to take it in. It was an absolute total shock then, you know. I guess there was some surprising element with this one, with it being the first nomination for a Marvel movie. But um, it's all exciting. It's all great. We know what you whisper. Because as you were just mentioning, Where first is woman, first person now? of color, but in a first place time where a she can visit, actor if has she ever been nominated for an Oscar in a comic book movie it's adaption. Have I not given everything? Have I not given everything? Right? Did you realize the magnitude of your portrayal and how it could really land in such an impactful way? Oh no, I didn't think that far ahead, but I, I, I know. I, I felt the power even in the first reading of the script, of that line, of that moment, and the truth of it, you know, how it resonates for that character. She truly has, you know, her entire family, and she's given her life and her energy to her country. Tell me about the, the depth of that character, because she's so much, she's strong, but, but yet she's vulnerable. When you have that kind of wide-ranging emotion, do you enjoy uh, playing a character oh, like yeah, that more? absolutely. I think all, in all my characters, I try to find that. I don't think we're one thing, you know? I don't think we're one thing, just strong. You know, strong without that oh, kind of balance. And how did you get in the, here? The vulnerability when you see the strength, or vice versa. You know, we appreciate the day. My mother told the stories about the place the like sun this. Because of the storm. Oh, so you. I look for that juxtaposition also in characters, also. The joy against the, the grief. Curious how, with, with Chadwick's passing, and, and obviously you had real world grief, mm -hmm. how you brought that then into your delivery in the movie. You know, you don't have to travel far for that. That lives that lives within us. It's really, we, we have it in, have him in our heart and in our hand. He made such an impact and an imprint on, on each of us on that set. And of course, on audiences around the world. And it is your time to be king. So that's not something that you had to, you know, grasp for. You live with it, it, the memory of him and how kind and marvelous a human being, a man, and actor that he was. Queen Ramonda is stately and strong and beautiful. Uh, curious what you hope uh, young black girls in particular, but all girls perhaps, will, will take away from seeing your, your portrayal. That their very essence, their very being, is marvelous. 
you know, it's marvelous, it's graceful, it is enough. And they, they truly can rise and become anything that they, that they desire, that they put their heart and their mind to, that they give the full measure of their devotion. They can rise as Ramonda did. I talked to several of the members of the cast there, and they've all said the same thing, uh, that they didn't have to manufacture any grief, that what we saw was real because of the passing of yeah, Chadwick. Yeah, you can feel that authenticity yes. watching at home as well. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.